Yip, 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 yip. Yip, yip. Ah! Come on, let's go. Go through. Go through. Climb over. Under. Come on, let's go. Climb up. Up. And up. Good climb. Good climb. Good climb. All I see when I look at a pup is potential, looking at a blank canvas. The breed is known for its capabilities, but he has a lot of character. He's a force of nature. The next year is about focusing him. It's about harnessing that raw power. It's not a game we're playing. He might be small and cute looking now, but <laughs> he's going to have to adapt to a hostile environment. As he grows stronger, he'll get braver, he'll get more confident. His aggression will naturally develop. He just wants to go all the time, he just wants to work. And that's what we look for, a good attitude. Every day is an assessment day. And we have to be ruthless in that selection process and be honest with ourselves how he's getting on. It's just about developing those skills with him. The ability to track is first and foremost, but then that he'll detect anything with human sin, anything that might act as evidence. In particular, I've started him on rifle rounds. Obviously, there's a particular smell to rifle rounds. There's a gun oil involved. There's black powder in there. Thirdly, then, the ability to apprehend, if it becomes necessary. A lot of the dog skills he can learn on the job, once he has his foundation here. There's nothing like real-world experience. Get him over there, start him off. The situation is getting more critical and I think sometimes we get very desensitized to the plight of the rhino and the elephants and we've heard about it for so long. It's really the final minutes of what is a war. The conservancies are vastly outarmed, they're outnumbered. All the odds seem to favor the cartels that are behind the poaching. Most of the conservancies have suffered hugely in the last 12 months because of COVID. They can't afford to pay the rangers and that leaves the reserves more vulnerable. Of course there is a danger, of course there's a threat to the dog, as is there with all the men and women who put their lives on the line when they go out in order to protect the last of these species. That's the reality of it. This is one dog to one reserve, to one ranger. But hopefully we can build it up into something bigger. I think everyone's got to do what they can.